Yo, what is up and what is good? It's your boy J Tran back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna be breaking down the brand new Genkai Force promo in Madden Ultimate Team. This is not brand new, but I just wanted to make sure that this is the team that I wanted to use to showcase this promo. This promo overall, in my opinion, was an L. It just cost way too much just to get discounts. It just felt like power-ups from Madden 23, if you guys remember how expensive it was to get just one overall upgraded on a power-up card. It just felt way too expensive, and a lot of these abilities for the discount just wasn't worth it. But I'm gonna be showing you guys this promo. So what am I talking about when it comes to price? For example, for one hero, you're looking to pay around 400 to 450K, really just depending on which hero you are buying. A lot of them are like around 400K, like the Derek Carr. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. Oh, in order to get his first discount, you're gonna need a 93 overall or a low elevation pass. And the 93s are going for about 90K right now. So you're in the hole for about 490k on the low end. This second elevation doesn't give a discount, but you need it to get his second discount in the third elevation. That's a lot, so just keep up with me. The second elevation is gonna cost you around 400k. So now you're in for about 890k, and you don't even get a cool ability discount in this slot. The third ability is the discount slot, and that's gonna cost another 400k and you can only use your high elevation on this one area right here. You can't even use it on the last one. You are in the hole for about 1.39 million coins just to get them to the max elevation. There's another thing that is locked behind this paywall is the X factor. So you can get max security elevated one if you just want the first discount, you don't care about the third discount. This X factor turns on and then turns off faster and it stays off a lot longer or you can elevate them all the way to elevation three and it's gonna stay on a lot longer. But like I said, it's gonna cost you about 1.39 million just to get them here. And that's why the promo is an L. But later on when these cards drop in price, I could see them being pretty good budget cards later on because of some of the discounted abilities that you're gonna be able to get. I am currently rocking a 70-70 Super Bowl team with 25 Las Vegas Raiders. Why the Raiders? Well, technically in this promo, you are going to get four Raiders. You get Devontae Adams, Shadow Devontae Adams, Derek Carr, and Shadow Derek Carr. I'm not using Derek Carr at quarterback. He just doesn't fit my scheme. I like to roll out a lot and he's slow, so I'm just not gonna rock Derek Carr. Another reason to rock this Raiders theme team is that, you know, you might as well boost up the offensive line because you get two of the best guards in the game that are Oakland Raiders, Gene Upshaw and Greg Van Rotten. With Devontae Adams, I don't know if you guys saw, I'm rocking max security. I've never used this X Factor. I don't know how it works. We're going to be using it, trying it out. His first ability, the zero AP is grab and go. This is an ability I haven't tried this year, but maybe he gets insane jukes or something. I don't know. We're gonna rock one AP short in elite. We're just basically gonna be using this because I rock it with Plaxico for one AP. So I might as well try it with this Devonte Adams. And on a 25-25, he is 96 speed. Still slower than most of the receivers that you get on the 70-70 Super Bowl team. We're just gonna try this card out. The next card we're gonna be talking about in this promo is Dexter Lawrence. If you've seen my other videos, you know how much I love Identifier. I was spending one AP on Identifier on John Runyon, but now I get it for zero AP. This last ability slot, he gets zero AP for me once. I don't think that's worth it. So we're just gonna keep him here. Plus he doesn't get an X factor, so it doesn't really matter if we elevate him all the way to the third elevation. The next player we are going to be trying out is this Rob Havenstein. So all the way maxed out, you get zero AP secure protector, one AP post up and zero AP linchpin. You don't need post up. I just wanted to try it because I double team to roll out and it says dominant when engaged in double team block. Maybe my rollouts become better. And then zero AP linchpin, 
It says stronger blocking for all offensive linemen. I don't know if this is gonna work. I am a strong believer that offensive line abilities are all placebo, just like defensive line abilities. That's just my personal thought. But we're just gonna end up trying it anyways. The last offensive player we're gonna be testing out is this Aiden Hutchinson card. Hey, okay, this card gets zero AP honorary linemen and zero AP red zone threat. Problem is this card is like 93 speed. He's really slow, but he's a six, seven tight end. So I don't know. We're going to try testing it out, lobbing it to the red zone. Maybe he gets some crazy catches. He also gets Vanguard elevated three. So I'm hoping Vanguard is just going to basically stay on the whole entire game. I'm not quite sure how that works. This could be an interesting ability to test out elevated three double me plus red zone threat maybe he becomes an insane card all right so now on defense we are rocking Devonte adams two ap and he gets mid zone for one deep out for one and pick artist for zero you can also rock flat zone and that will be three ap for all of the knockouts pretty much but there's a reason why i'm rocking with zero ap pick artist over one ap flat zone and i'm about to explain why here in a second the next card we're going to be highlighting here is this Derek Carr card. I love this Derek Carr card. No one really talks about this card. He's basically a 6'3 user with 96 speed on this theme team, but that's not what makes him great. All right. So he gets zero AP lurk artist, just like almost every linebacker at this point. He also gets one AP under pressure. And I was testing this ability out. I just couldn't fit the AP where I wanted it. This one AP under pressure is pretty good in dollar a gap. So imagine him coming through the a gap. He doesn't quite get to the quarterback, but he'll affect the throw because of this ability. And then he gets zero AP strip specialist. In my opinion, this ability is a fake ability this year. I really don't ever see it lighting up or working, but the real kicker here is this reinforcement elevated three. This ability is very good and it's for zero AP. Elevated three, it basically stays on the whole entire game and you'll see that in the gameplay here. And what reinforcements is basically, it is like universal coverage, but you don't get the reaction time. So for example, like if you notice when you have a deep out KO and your opponent runs a corner out, you'll see that your corner kind of becomes psychic and he's able to react faster whenever they throw the corner out and get there and knock out the ball, right? That's basically reinforcement, except he doesn't get the fast reaction time to the breaking of the ball. But that's perfectly fine because in dollar, all Derek Carr is going to be doing is be in a hook zone if I zone him out. He's not going to be running any other zone coverage. So he's not going to be getting fooled, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And this for zero AP is actually insane because it stays on pretty much the whole entire game. The next player we're gonna be looking at is Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan gets zero AP unpredictable. I tested out his interior threat. I never saw any kind of notice. So we're gonna try unpredictable today. And then he also gets no outsiders for zero AP. Another ability we will be testing out today. All right. And then Derwin James, who turns out to be the best outside corner in the entire game because he gets zero AP flat zone, two AP deep out zone, and zero AP mid zone KO. Basically the same stack Devontae Adams can get, but for one less AP. If you don't want to run him on outside corner, this will be the first time I run him outside cornerback. If you don't want to run him outside, he is a god slot corner in dollar because you basically get flat zone and mid zone for zero AP. And because he's in the slot, you really don't need deep out KO. That's pretty much the entire team. So without further ado, let's just get right into the gameplay. All right, loading into our first game. And it looks like we're playing a Super Bowl theme team. All right, Debo, let's see if we can get a kick return out of you. And we don't. It's all good, though. It's all good. All right, we... We're gonna be playing Aiden Hutchinson on the outside to try to get his X Factor to light up. All right, all right, Terrell Davis, that works. First play. First, ask to Aiden Hutchinson, how does he do? He is kind of slow as you can see, but hey man, he secures the pass and that's all that we need. All right, he's spreading his line. We're just gonna run belly weak. Oh my God, we got pancakes too. 
We got Pancakes 2. It's just going to get crazier once Aiden Hutchinson gets his X Factor lit. He just needs two 10 yard plus catches. Looks like he's in DB fire. We're going to have to see. He's going to dump it off real quick. The Debo. Whoa, whoa. What, what kind of tackle was that? Going to back his DBs off again. We're about to find out. He does. We're just going to run. I don't know why that happened. I didn't even audible twice. All right. We're just going to assume. Yep. Good, good, good. And Devontae Adams should get a easy catch here. Let's see though. Right to Kyle Pitts for the tight end angle. Uh-oh. This dude watched Zan's video. Zan, very good content creator, dropped a video on how to stop the rollout earlier today. And so now we're just gonna have to gonna have to be better than these guys all right we're just gonna have to figure it out we're not gonna let one content creator destroy our whole offense all right we're just not gonna do it we're not gonna let one content creator destroy our offense whoa what the heck oh my gosh all right we're gonna take three holy cow i'm not used to the fast kick meter at all all right, we have to figure this out because if Zan dropped the video, then a lot of people are going to be using this to stop the rollout. Yeah, it just kind of caught me off guard. I haven't played all day, so I really haven't faced it. One of these guys. All right, let's see if we can show off why universal coverage for one AP is such a good ability. Good, cheat him. Cheat him, please. Thank you. See if he runs the RPO. He doesn't. Double cross. Get it. Oh, Cameron Jordan, you got to pick that off, man. See if he stays in bunch offset. We're going to send we're going to send four. We're going to send four. Make him make a play. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Good. The, the, the funny thing is is these are the dudes that always message me after the game like complaining about uh Complaining about the 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 rollout glitch. These are the types of guys. They, they roll out in bunch, but then they complain when you roll out in single back. It's actually it's actually kind of funny if you think about it. Here we go. Adderley, come on, man. Come on now. Honestly, he could have he could have burned me so many different ways there. <laughs> He honestly could have burned me so many different ways there. This cannot be that good. Honestly, it's probably an angle I could take to beat the zero yard flat. He's not even doing it. He's not even doing it. Aiden Hutchinson for the touchdown, baby. Come on. More bunch. More bunch strong. My bad, my bad. More bunch strong. Here we go. Here we go. Roll out to the corner. Roll out to the corner. See, look, these are the... I'm telling you, the... These guys complain about my rollout, and it's actually hilarious, dude. Oh my gosh, he caught me on my D-line. He caught me on my D-line. Devontae Adams, oh my gosh, cheat me, bro. I hate how attentive you have to be to play this offense. I'm not gonna lie. I hate how attentive you, like you literally can't take a play off because these guys play like crackheads, dude. Short corner. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, it's so frustrating. That's fine. Go ahead. Get over here. Get him. Your car, buddy. Oh, I hate playing these guys while I'm like trying to do content because like I'm trying to make all these adjustments while trying to be entertaining at the same time. And it's really hard sometimes. Good knockout. You know what I'm saying? It is it is a little bit difficult if I were to say so myself. It is a bit difficult. Here we go. I just knew, see, like you literally cannot take a play off. These guys play like crackheads, man. And then they complain about how I play. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's just my rant, man. Like these dudes actually play like crackheads and then complain about how I play. Strip, oh my God, strip specialist, please, man. Sure, man. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. All right, let's test out our new X Factor ability, shall we? Aiden Hutchinson has the ball. Just follow him. Just follow him. Oh my goodness, I didn't follow him. 
<laughs> I didn't follow him. I got greedy there. It doesn't matter. Keep your line spread. Pinch your line. Do whatever you need to do. Oh my goodness. He just takes terrible angles. That's the only, that's the, that's the one gripe that I have that I have with him is that he takes really bad angles. This is the play design here. All right. So maybe I'm not following him enough. Oh, he just laid out Julius Peppers though. See ya. Lay him out. Lay him out. Oh my God. Hutch. Come on. Oh, that would have been cool. He laid out. Okay, so it did activate. It would have been cool if he activated on my opponent's user. That would have been really cool, but it didn't happen. And it's already off. It was only on for like four plays, I think. Now we have to react. Hey, but when it lit up, though, it, that was kind of lit. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of cool. Knockout. Let's go, Devontae. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. He's going short corner. He's definitely going short corner here. I just knew it, bro. It's like a, it's a pick and choose. Okay, I might have a plan here. All right, all right, if he's going like that. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't have a plan, I lied. I lied to everybody. I, I definitely lied. Oh, that's so annoying, dude. And it's just so annoying. It's just so annoying. It's like, it's literally double posts double corner simulator that's it in durham but with a, with a little little a little splash of durham all this this game has turned into it's fine i should be able to run with even without vanguard on that's cool we'll take we'll take that all right we're running out of time though so we got to four fast here looks like cover two all right here we go we're gonna roll out to our left and hope oh my gosh oh what a dot all i know is if zan didn't drop that video this dude loses by like three touchdowns for sure here we go get lucky that's all we need a little luck you know a little spritz of luck that's all we need a little spritz of luck boom 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 oh my gosh please please a little, sp a little spritz of luck. That's all we need. Just all right. So he's rocking zero yard purples in his slot corners. He's rushing three. It's really, we should be able to make a play here. <clears throat> Easy. Oh my God, dude. Lucky, 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 lucky mid zone KO. All right. Here we go. Another, another little zero yard purple. Oh, he doesn't do it that time. All right, we'll take our three. 18 seconds left. He's not going to score the ball. We're going to be okay. Oh, my goodness. The fast kick meter. I'm not used to it. All right, here we go. Yep. Short corner. This dude is literally a, a bot, bro. Sure, everything is bagged. Everything is so bagged. Everything is bagged, dude. Come on now. Go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I messed it up. I should have probably just ran straight there. I think the problem also is that we're probably just not sending pressure enough. We just got to send pressure a lot against guys like this. I think he'll crack, honestly. Also hate when these guys, they're like audible. They just be audibling random. Double corners, double corners, double corners, double corners. What are you going to do? See, I told you it's double post or double corners. Like that's, that's their play call like 90% of the time. It's so annoying. To to have to play through that. Knock out. What? Bro, <laughs> oh my God. Come on, man. Pick, oh my goodness, dude. Do you see how lucky he's getting? It's, <laughs> come on, come on. Give me a chance, man. That's all I'm asking. Just give me a chance. Get Just give me a chance. Here. Come on, Derek Carr. A lot of people don't like Derek Carr because they say he's too slow. And I used him before I put him on a Raiders theme team. I, I just didn't see that big of a difference. Double corners. Here he goes. Oh, it's Durham. It's Durham. I was, oh my gosh, dude. Oh man. This guy is, I mean, you guys see the tape for yourselves, man. There's, I don't have to do much talking. I don't have to do much talking about it, man insane dude oh yeah double corners time come on come on fellas double corners double corners double corners 
please. Mine, Thank mine, you. Mine, mine. Thank you. The camera didn't shift. I thought I got cheated for real. Oh my goodness. Here he goes. This guy is a, a blast to play against. I'm not going to lie. This is my first time playing against this Zan de rollout defense though. So it's good practice. It's good practice. I know I've been complaining a lot this game, but man, my opponent did really get lucky a couple of times. Zero yard per oh, it's not even the zero yard purple. Okay, we'll take that. Devontae. Devontae. Another thing I like about this Devontae Adams card, by the way, is that he gets all of the good traits, like possession catches, sideline catches. He gets all of them. So he's a good player to have on your team for sure. Here you go. Aiden Hutchinson. Dot. Oh, cheat me. This is the Mabel look. Honestly, I wish I would have came out in PA Fort just so I could bomb him. Stop him like from mabling me every play. Doesn't matter. Devontae Adams. Hutch has red zone threat here, so maybe we can get something cool here. Oh my gosh, that's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. All right, backside post to Devontae is looking good in my eyes. It is looking good in my eyes right there. Possession catch. Did that negate his um, double corners? Here he goes. Single corners. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's go. I thought he glitched me. Okay, you got me there. Oh, dude, this is so... All right, stop complaining, man. Come on. Dude sucks. Cool, oh, man. Just quick hike now. He just resulted to just quick hike. Oh my God. <laughs> what was my user doing? What was my user doing there? Here he goes, man. That's off. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Oh my God. These guys play like boss, dude. Oh, and I know, I know, I understand. I should be the last person to complain about how someone else is playing because of how I play. But dude, these are the type of guys that if YouTube and Twitch did not exist, they would not play Madden. Like, that's the truth. They just, mine, mine, oh, mine. oh my God, look at that. They just wouldn't play Madden because they just wouldn't know what to do. And, they, and, and there you go, he quit the game. I'm sorry. There was a lot of complaining in that game. I'll try to tone it down in the next video. All right. But here are my thoughts of every card that we used this game. Let me go ahead and get past all of this. All right. Aiden Hutchinson did really well for us. Thing is, is he's kind of slow, honestly. And I could see it being a problem with him not getting this X Factor lit because the 10 yard passes uh in my offense maybe in a different offense he could uh be good but he's definitely not worth the 1.39 million this Devonte adams is really good i'm gonna have to test out this x factor a little bit more so this max security if this really cancels out knockouts or i don't know if that was a placebo but if it does cancel out knockout this is a game changer so we're gonna have to look at that as well um i'll have to do more play testing on that Dexter Lawrence, I think I, I need identifier. And if I can save one AP and throw it somewhere else, he's going to be more expensive. So he's going to be like 1.9 mil to complete him. Is he worth it? I don't know. That's up to you. <clears throat> As you guys see, I, like, I have a lot of coins, so I can afford to do dumb stuff like that. Rob Havenstein, um, I think he did a pretty good job. I think secure protectors are gonna be the new meta, um, especially with the pre-lit X Factor. So I say he's worth it. I'm not ever an advocate to spending so much coins on offensive line. Defense, Derek Carr by far in this Genkai Force promo. Derwin James, probably the best corner in the game but this is my first game playing him at outside corner. Usually I like to play him at slot because he gets mid zone and flat for zero and it lets you do so much more with your AP. This card is going to be even better once we get better cards. Like for example, when combine comes out and we get a crazy discount on deep zone KO somewhere else that has mid zone or whatever, this card is going to be a God slot. And I think 
he's going to be good for a while because in slot especially in dollar you don't really need speed because they're in hooked zones or flat zones you don't really need speed too much here this Devonte adams is also very good card um i wish he got flat or mid zone for zero ap but i can see this card not being relevant after the next couple of us uh this cameron jordan didn't really notice him at all honestly today but I think that's all of the Genkai Force cards that I'm playing. And yeah, that's my honest review. Derek Carr, I really like it. His price will be dropping with the new promos coming out. But zero AP reinforcement that stays on pretty much all game, I think is very valuable. But yeah, man, I mean, that's the end of the video. If you learned anything from this video or you even enjoyed the content, please consider hitting the subscribe button it would really mean a lot to me i'm trying to make it in this content space i'm trying to branch off try different things if you like the video that would definitely help me in the algorithm of youtube uh, i'm not too good to ask for that and uh i don't know in the comments comment what you want to see even if it's like dude pass do something that's not a rollout and try to win the game or like what I can improve in my videos. If you made it this far in the video, man, I really do appreciate you guys a lot. You get me more to me than you guys know. Does that make sense? I don't know if that's the saying. I'm just yapping at this point. So without further ado, I'm 